What chapter are you on? Mm, I'm not sure, but I started reading it. Okay. It's like motivating you, just making you feel spiritual, or what? Um, well, the first, the first pages I was reading was about like anger. Yeah. You think you have a lot of resentment, a lot of anger built up inside of you that you need to release, you need to let it go, you need to... Yeah. I feel like I didn't, I didn't know how to deal with it. It's probably, it's probably one of the reasons why why I'm using. Yeah, sometimes people go through trauma, right? Issues at a young age. And uh, some people are stuck. They don't know how to talk about it, how to address it, how to ask for help how to bring it up in a conversation like this happened to me this is what i experienced as a kid it shouldn't have happened i shouldn't have been there i was a victim maybe talking about it with somebody will will help me gain some coping skills to be able to move away from that trauma from that experience because all, all i'm doing right now is self-medicating i'm numbing the pain i'm numbing the memories right but uh, but i'm harming myself in the long term right in the long run it's really bad for me yeah there's more positive ways to deal with trauma don't you think yeah i recommend uh surrounding you yourself with the people that really do love you uh, I've I've been I've been talking to your mom for a couple of years now. Uh, your brother Ken. Uh, I know you have cousins that have gone out for years to go take you food and clothes. Those people have been there. They they've been there. Yeah. Uh, surround yourself with those people that want to help you. That that they they, they want to uh, nurture you and and they want you to get better. They don't have any expectations of, hey, Carla, you you have to do this. You have to do that. You have to dress this way. You have to dress that way. You can't, you know, nobody's trying to control you. Uh, but substances, blues, are definitely controlling your life right now. They definitely have a, a, a firm grasp on what you do, how you do it, when you do it. And for somebody that has so much independence, you're experiencing things you haven't experienced before as far as where you're gonna go, what time you're gonna go, how you're, you didn't have that have that before, right? You didn't you you this is all brand new to you. Yeah. But you're still being controlled by something far worse, which is substances, which is blues. And and uh, long term it's just not good for your for your mind, for your body and you know, just sometimes it takes people, right? You get a bad pill and you're, you're just no more Carla. Yeah. So that's what you try to avoid. You got to gotta get away from this crap soon, okay? It's good that you're like little by little, you know, less and less and less, but eventually it has to be zero so that you can, okay, you have your ID, you got a food stamp card, you got family that's willing to accept you in their home, cousins, brothers. Okay, how about a job? How about going to school? How about, you know, creating positive relationships with people, you know, that are going to lift you up and not hold you down with like what these substances are doing, right? You mentioned last time that you have friends, you know, you consider them family, but I don't know. I, I, I haven't. Me personally, I've been out here for four years and I haven't really encountered that. Friends or family out here in the streets where they're they're gonna love you and they're gonna cherish you and they're, it just, it doesn't, it's like a myth, you know? It seems like family. When you're high, it seems like family, but it really isn't. No one cares about you out here. No one gives a shit about you out here, nobody. 
I started to see that recently now. Yeah. It's true, Carla. It's yeah. true. You have to trust me. It's true. I've seen it. They leave. They go to jail. They go to prison. They leave you. You're out of here. Hey, what happened? To your street family. They don't. Your street family doesn't care about you. Your family, your blood family, they care about you. I believe more your cousin, your little brother, Ken, your mom. They can try to help you, okay? Don't be scared to reach out, okay? So, uh, Carlo, it was really nice talking to you. You just wanted to give me, you just want, you reached out to me. You wanted to give me an update. Um, happy belated birthday. Thank you. Uh, stay safe. Uh, now that you're 21, don't be hitting the clubs, okay? <laughs> um, be good. I'll talk to you soon. If your mom reaches out or your brothers reach out, I'll let you know, okay? Mm -hmm.